The Cystic Fibrosis Community is invited to participate in a series of videos and podcasts on individuals who are living, breathing, and succeeding with CF. This vidcast, Giving Back to the CF Community, is made possible through an unrestricted educational grant from Genentech to the Boomer Esiason Foundation. Today you will meet Travis Flores, an 18-year-old with CF from Ohio. He is currently attending college in New York City, has his own website, and is a Heroes of Hope recipient. Travis is living, breathing, succeeding with CF. Hi, I'm Travis Flores. I'm 18 years old. I attend school in New York City as a BFA acting major and a BA writing for the stage major. And I'm living, breathing, and succeeding with cystic fibrosis. This is Local 12 at Noon. A 13-year-old boy is inspiring others with help from the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Travis Flores of Newport, Ohio, signed copies of his book, The Spider Who Never Gave Up, this morning at Children's Hospital. I published a book. It's called The Spider Who Never Gave Up. It was um, written when I was eight years old. I was hospitalized for the very first time in Cincinnati. And being that I'd never been admitted to the hospital before, I met people with cystic fibrosis for the very first time. And it scared me because they had absolutely no hope. They were completely drained of energy. I'm in the hospital, I'm bouncing off the walls, you know, up, down, bed, and I'm doing all the crazy stuff that kids do when they're in the hospital, and they're not. Travis's book, The Spider Who Never Gave Up, parallels his own life and his fight against cystic fibrosis. His mom keeps him going a little, and he just kind of gets closer each time. Just like me, each time I do something to help my body, like IVs and stuff, I'm this much closer to being a healthy, regular kid. The moral of the spider who never gave up is um, basically just perseverance. If you keep trying and you never give up and you have that goal that you're striving for, you will achieve it. But you know, it's not just gonna come to you. You have to work for it and you have to do everything you can and fight for what you believe in. That is remarkable to have written that when he's eight years old. What a wise yeah. and obviously talented yeah. young man he yeah. is. Yeah. I was one of those people who embraced the fact that I did have this and that I needed to deal with it and I wasn't just going to put it on the back burner and kind of hope it goes away because I knew it wasn't going to. And um, instead of living for CF, I lived with CF. I have two websites. One was developed about five years ago for The Spider Who Never Gave Up. And on that website we have, um, it's more of an update website on me as an individual. And there's a blog on there that goes through my health updates that people can go on and read if they're curious how I'm doing. And the other website is for the Travis Flores Children's Foundation. We're going to be raising money and funds to get computers, laptops for children that are going to be in the hospital for long stays like cystic fibrosis patients usually are because we know, I know, um, it's really hard to be in the hospital and be disconnected from the community, um, especially if you're at a long distance from your home. You know, you can't make those phone calls if you don't have a cell phone and you can't get on the internet if you don't have a computer. You know, you want to be on there, you want to Facebook, you want to be on AOL, you want to do the things that normal kids do. So giving a laptop computer to a kid is a good way to start that for them. I think I also bring awareness to the CF community just by talking about it with my friends, you know. The more I talk about it with them, the more educated they become. And you know, if they have a friend in the future that has a friend with CF, they could say, oh, you know, I know about this, one of my friends had it. And you know, they can kind of inform that person about it. I will always be an activist for cystic fibrosis, no matter where my career takes me, no matter where my life takes me. And I'm always going to tell people, you know, raise money for cystic fibrosis, spread awareness for cystic fibrosis, because without those two things, there's not going to be a cystic fibrosis fund. There's not going to be something to help me and to help other individuals with cystic fibrosis get better. Cystic fibrosis, I try not to let it um, get in my way in my everyday life. I try to see it more as something that can push me to do something. So, you know, when somebody says, oh, you shouldn't do that because you might cough or you shouldn't do this because you might not be able to, I look at that as, you know, I'm gonna do this because I know I can. And you know, cystic fibrosis, it can slow you down, but that doesn't mean it's gonna stop you.